This is Coogan Cassius Rifle TV in association with MJ Marbella. We're in Leeds here, headed to tomorrow night's show Battle Lions fighting on the bill. Undefeated light heavyweight, Callum Johnson. How, How are good? you, Callum? How are you? You alright? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. You look tired? I'm a little bit tired, to be honest. I'm ready for my bed. Haha! <laughs> uh, Luke Allen tomorrow. Um, yes, yeah. Last time I spoke to you, was that your last outing uh, yeah, against Nathan last, King? Yeah, that was my last one out in Glasgow. Um, I don't really know anything about this kid, if I'm honest. Um, he's a late replacement, so just go in there and see what he's up to and deal with it when we're in there. Um, yeah, we spoke about this before. You just you know, wanted to sort of get a, a string of fights together and build up some momentum that's that way, and that's what you're doing. Yeah, that's it. You know, I'm happy to be out again, especially on a big show like this again. You know, um, I think it's three months since my last fight, and I've got another fight lined up in November as well. So I'm just keeping active and keeping busy, and you know, just starting to get that momentum going again. Who builds that on in November? Yeah, uh, Carl Reeves. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a bit local for me. Oh yeah, of course. That's the Boston Newark connection. Yeah, it's not not far. It's only about 40 mile away, so you know, Boston right out of the way, aren't we? Middle of nowhere. Absolutely. How much of the, the real Callum Johnson have we seen so far um, in your career? To be honest, in my professional career, I don't think you've seen a great deal of it. Um, there's been flashes and there's been a couple of performances where you've seen seen some of the best of me. Um, but you know, with the inactivity and the frustrations, I, I haven't got to show what I'm all about. And, you know, hopefully a bit, bit more of it will come out tomorrow, um, but I'm sure over the next few months you'll start seeing what I can do. And, I'll start producing in the ring while I produce in the gym. Mm. With uh, Tony Bellew and Cleverly dropping out of the light heavyweight division, it's kind of left that, I mean, quite wide open there for someone to, to yeah, grab definitely, it. definitely. I mean, I, I believe it's still a good division. Um, you know, obviously Enzo Macronelli is the leading at the top. Um, we all know what he's done in the past. And there's a few, there's a few good kids and a few kids coming up as well. So, obviously on the world scene, obviously I've not got to worry about that. Dear God, there's some big talent on the world scene in the light of division. Absolutely. You know, so I'm pleased I'm not at that level yet, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, not, not too far off it, mate. Not too far off yet. A oh, couple more years and you could be uh, Hopefully, who knows? pitted against some of these people. Yeah. Is it, like I said, like so, the light division divisions very tough I worldwide. Sometimes, I sometimes think I hope I get to that level, but then when I look who, who's at that level, I think, ah, oh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, listen, there's an honest, honest thing for you to say, but um, listen, you know, you, got, you build your bridges here, don't you? Uh, yeah, doing it what you're doing domestically, yeah, and then definitely. when you get your chance, you know, see yeah, what happens. Take, take a pay down, just go down. Who would you say was the best light heavyweight in the world um, at the moment? Do you know what? You know, I think, I think when we see Hopkins against Kovalev, I think we'll have a, uh, a good idea then. There's a part of me that thinks... Hopkins will do it, but then there's a part of me that's thinking, nah, he's too old now, you know, when, when will he get old? Because he's got to, you know, it's what he's doing is phenomenal. And, you know, but obviously I think Kovalev's, at the minute, everyone's thinking he's possibly number one. The part I really wanted to see was Kovalev and Stevenson. I mean, yeah, the, definitely, yeah, yeah. That's, that's it. I, I, think, I think Kovalev would chin him, if I'm honest. Really? Just, I think Stevenson's got probably the better boxing ability and would probably win on points if he got to the points, but... Kovalev just seems to, whatever he hits, they just, they just go, don't they? Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't know what he's got in them gloves. Well, I think this will tell you a good uh, test of how good Kovalev is. Cause yeah, definitely. definitely. Like I, said, I know Hopkins, the he's age got, thing will eventually catch up with him. Yeah, but he's, he's got some tricks up his sleeve though, that one, hasn't he? So, like I say, it'll be, it'll be a good indication to see how good Kovalev really is. Absolutely. But, um, I mean, domestically, uh, how many fights have you had now? I've had, was it? I think this is my ninth now. Tomorrow. Ninth fight. Yeah, so it's yeah. still quite early on, yeah, isn't it? Still you? early on, you know. Obviously, I've been professional three, three and a half years now, and obviously it's gone a little bit stop and start. But you know, hopefully, build a, build a bit of momentum, get a few more fights, and then I think it'll be time next year, early next year, just to go let, let myself off the leash and see what we can do. Mm. Very active gym uh, down at Gallagher's. Obviously, fresh from Paul Smith's uh, brilliant display. Uh, Unfortunately, not coming home with a belt, but there's, there's plenty of things going on there. Scott Quigg going to be involved on the 22nd of November, it's and the Equaler hopefully as well. So it's a it's a brilliant gym, you know. I think it's the best gym in the country um, across the board. The lads that we've got there, you know, everyone's performing well. The gym is buzzing, and as speaking about Paul Smith there, just how well he did last week. You know, seeing seeing Paul Smith perform like that last week, you know, that just gives you that confidence not only in in the gym and the lads, but it gives you confidence in Joe as well. You know what Joe done with him in the gym and he'd done it on the night 
I know Paul has to do it, but you know, when you see what goes on behind the scenes, and you know, it's just a remarkable, remarkable performance. And he didn't get obviously the credit he deserved, which was which was a downside of it. Absolutely. Let's hope a rematch will happen anyway and Definitely. give Paul another another crack at it. I think he deserves it. You know, I think the whole country thinks he deserves it, and hopefully he'll get it. Let's hope so. All right, well, listen, Callum, best of luck tomorrow against Luke Allen, and uh, we'll hopefully catch up with you after your fight and uh, see what happens. Yeah, nice one, mate. Thank you. All right. Coogan Cassius, Callum, the one Johnson for IFL TV. Thank you very much.